No, that West Coast. No, that West Coast. Huh? What you know about that? It's cool. It's cool. Light skin nigga. Y'all niggas ain't grinding, y'all be trying to work around it. I'm real life getting money, y'all just fucking talk about it. Just cause you see me right here don't mean I'm not with the It's time to stop! I, I, I knew it had come to this. I am now starting to become like Leafy and Pyro, in which I do rip tracks just to get views. What, what, what's happened to my voice? You got the YouTube cancer mouse. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, we're all gonna die someday of cancer anyway, so we might as well get this over with. This is Travis Williams, a YouTuber with nearly half a million subs, who makes quality content based on pandering to women, simply be- Gotcha, bitch! Yeah, I'm not big enough to start pulling that kind of shit yet, so we're gonna do something else. I got up, I was browsing the internet for some dank quality content to talk about, well, I stumbled upon this little gem. Essentially what this article says is that the company that made Pokemon Go is having a lawsuit filed against them for quote-unquote inciting people to trespass onto private property. Now I'm going to post the full version in the description but in summary is that Pokestops were put in this gentleman's backyard without his written consent. And kids were knocking on his door asking if they go into his backyard because there's a rare Pokemon back there and he's getting fed up with the whole thing. Now, my personal thoughts on the matter is that this lawsuit is incredibly stupid because, well, it's based off of what they did in Google Maps, and they sort of can't help it because, well, let's face it, Earth is a very big place, and for them to remove Pokestops from places like this would take a lot of time and a lot of money, and it's going to snowball. One person's going to say, hey, take this Pokestop out of my backyard, then another, and another, then another, and that's money and manpower that's diverted from keeping the servers up and trying to make sure they don't get hacked again. Now, there was an incident in which there was a coughing found in um like in the remains of the Auschwitz concentration camp and the Holocaust Museum in Washington DC. Those were removed because they got a lot of flack for that, but personally I found that to be fucking hysterical. But I'm getting a bit off track. That's one thing to remove like Pokemon from like a certain area out of respect because those things are a very sensitive issue but this lawsuit is if you ask me it's kind of silly I mean where's the personal accountability I mean the kids weren't like climbing his fence to go look for Pokemon they went they went up knocked on his door and asked politely can they go in the backyard to look for Pokemon like, but we're gonna come back to, um, personal accountability here. It's kind of like the serve the guys who made this app. It's, I don't know if it's entirely their fault where the Pokemon spawn because there's guys who live out in the countryside where they can't find shit. I mean, they're lucky that so much as find like a Rattata. Meanwhile, here in the more urban regions, we bitch if we so much as we find a Rattata. Once again, I'm kind of rambling here. But again, personal accountability. Kids, kids, if you're going to look for Pokemon, don't, like, don't go just go into people's yards willy-nilly. Just do what these kids did. Ask first. If you ask, the, like, he might say yes, he might tell you go fuck off. But, I personally, I don't think that Pokemon Go is inciting cases of trespassing. I mean, it's just like a, it's just a little app that's meant to get kids out of their house, get together, look for Pokemon, and explore their neighborhood. Like, this is merely just, like, a side effect because kids being stupid. Alright, I'm gonna get off my soapbox now, and, um, what are your thoughts on the matter? Is this lawsuit legit, or 
isn't complete and other bullshit, I would like to know in the comments, as I stated before, the full article is in the description below. If you want to keep up to date on what I'm doing, be sure to follow me on Twitter, which I will also leave in the description. And I will see you in the next rant. Don't lose your way, you got